Hi everybody, I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra, and I'm just gonna go over here and see if I can see who's watching me today. So I wanna thank you guys for joining me. We are gonna make some really fun wedding projects today. And what's really cool about today's show is we're gonna be giving away a free roll of Bodabra scrunchie ribbon to somebody who's watching, and we will do that at the end of the live, but in about a minute, at the beginning of the live, we're going to announce the person who won from watching either the replays or the YouTube. So let's get started. Um, hi, Cassandra. And also, you guys, hey, please, please, please share, especially if you know somebody who's planning a wedding, because this is going to be a really fun, like, dollar store wedding hat. Got a couple of them for you today. This is a hula hoop, or they call it a fun hoop that I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna put this, and then what we did, you can either paint this white, or we covered it with white duct tape. And we'll get to that in a minute. So, next what I'm gonna do is take, Cassandra, thank you for sharing, and Edna, hi, and Scarlett, hi. You guys, thanks so much for joining me. And thank you again, everybody who shared last week, and everybody who shares today, I really appreciate it. And if you're watching the replay, please say, I want to win replay, so that that way you'll be eligible for the next time we pick someone, which will be the 15th of August. So um, now I'm gonna just take my Bodabra bow wire and I'm gonna fold it in half and lay this down into the Bodabra. I'm just gonna tuck the ends underneath. Now I've got, this is a 20, I believe this is a 21 inch, um, yes, it is a, no, it, is this a 21 inch? No, it's an 18 inch wide mesh, and I have three yards of it. So we're gonna get started on this rather giant bow, and I'm gonna stand up and move everything out of my way. Hi, Tammy, so now um, I'm just going to scrunch this down in here. And I'm going to just fold it back. We're making really big loops. And this mesh is just catching on everything. So I'm just going to bring fold that back. I want this to be a really, really loopy bow. And now I'm going to bring this back over here. And my mesh, guys, just so you realize, I'm totally stuck on everything. OK. so. Now, I'm gonna fold this back over. And if you can't tell, this is one of Michael's designs. God bless you, Michael. But, oh my gosh, there is so much to do in this one and it's really hard to show. Hi, Giovanna. Hi, Katie. And I think really, really soon we're going to be announcing who won. And then now I'm gonna just fold this back over here and scrunch that in. And then um, I'm going to take my tails and I'm gonna lay these in here. Let's take this tail, which this is, um, let's see, 18 to 51. It's about 30 inches long, two and a half inches wide. I'm just gonna fold it in half find the center and just let my tails hang down here. Yes, Edna, this is a huge bow and wait till you see how big the wreath is. I think we might have to move from the table and then now we have another 18, an 18 inch of our Bodabra rhinestone mesh and we're just gonna lay that down there and I'm gonna just lay this one on here and then I have another piece of this um, ribbon for another tail. I'm gonna just scrunch this down in here and take another piece of my rhinestone mesh. And these are about 25 inches, but this is gonna make such a beautiful wreath. And just kind of lay this in here. And I'm just gonna Oops, lay this down. 
And I'm going to cheat. Let me find, I have some of my adhesive Zots, which I love because these are like semi-permanent. So they work really, really well. Um, and then now what I'm gonna do is, we're not making this bow even bigger. I have about, let's see, I'm gonna measure these. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four. Jacob, can you move over more so people can see what I'm doing? <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so now I'm gonna just twist it and fold it back. And I'm gonna twist. So all we're doing here is just folding, and I'm holding everything down in the Bodabra so that, because um, the mesh wants to push it all out. We're just gonna make a lot of loops. Rosemary Petrangeli, I hope I'm not spelling your name wrong. You are our replay winner. And if I'll also, I'm not sure if you, we saw you from YouTube or here, so we'll figure it out. But if you are watching or if you get a message from us, then we'll need you to send me your email address. And I'm gonna just fold this back over here and fold this back over here. Or you can PM us here on Bodabra to let me know what color Bodabra scrunchie ribbon you want. And let's see what we've got here. Ooh, my missus sign was taking my ribbon. Okay, so we're gonna fold this back. So you can see this is a really, really big bow. But I love that we can make these huge bows. And yes, we are still picking a, win a winner at the end of the show. You have to be on live. Um, so we're gonna fold back. And then I'm gonna just keep going. We're gonna have lots of loops here. But when you see when we're done and we start putting this onto our um, hula hoop wreath, then you'll see why we have such a big bow because the hula hoop is big, which makes it a huge wreath. And what I am making this for is to put behind the reception table behind the bride and groom. And we have this really cool Mr. and Mrs. Um, hi, Janet. Hi, Jackie. And we will be picking, just so you guys know, we are picking another winner at the end of the show. The winner that we picked at the beginning is someone who won by saying replay and I want to win after either our lives or our YouTubes. So we're gonna just go back and forth. I'm just gonna scrunch this in here, scrunch this down. And now I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire. And if you're not familiar with the Bodabra bow wire, I love it because it's really strong. So it'll hold all this ribbon and make it really easy to tie off your bow. So I'm gonna put my, bow, my Bodabra aside. I'm gonna separate my ends. I'm gonna bring this around to the back. And you guys, please share. I love it when you guys share. It really helps me out, because um, this is my marketing. So now I'm going to, and if you know anybody planning a wedding, these are some fabulous ideas. So now we're going to just um, fluff our bow out by just separating the loops and bringing them around and we'll fluff this out and now I'm going to just put this aside and I'm going to bring up oh well let me show you guys what this looks like though I guess I should show you this bow it looks really pretty I think and so now this is like a beautiful beautiful wreath bow hi Renee thank you and Tammy thank you for sharing and Edna thank you for sharing so now, you guys just have no idea. I have like no room here because this is such a big project. So now, as I was saying, our Bodabra bow wire is kind of different because it's really, really strong and that's what lets it hold everything, but it's also a wire. So it's just, you know, I designed it specially for Bodabra. 
So now for this, we've already made a whole bunch of these, which you'll see when I pull up. But all I'm doing is taking a, let's see, this is about a 25 inch piece of my, I believe I said this was 18 inches, yeah, 18 inch wide mesh. And all I'm doing is just gonna scrunch, so a little pieces on this side, I'm just gonna scrunch this into my bodabra. Then I'm going to just tie this off, pull it tight while it's still in the bodabra, take it out, I'm gonna separate the ends, bring them around, and tie a knot. Thank you, Scarlett. Linda, thank you. You guys are so awesome for sharing. And now, oh my gosh, here comes the hue, the, the transform blue. And I'm gonna kind of lay this where I have room for it. And so we I've already hung the Mr. and Mrs. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So this is just from the dollar store. And I'm just gonna put a little piece of a glue dot there and that way it'll stay here. And I'm gonna also glue dot this here or use, I'm actually using Zots. I always say glue dot, which is kind of the generic name. And then I have my mister and I'm gonna just take a glue dot here. Cause this will definitely definitely hold and then i'm going to take what did i do with that thing that i just made okay guys <laughs> i just made it where did it go oh this is this is what happens with live tv or live boat live shows um so basically how could that have just disappeared on me Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're just taking the, um, the scrunch and we're just wrapping it around and I'm just, oh, here it is. And I'm just tying this on. So this piece now, I'm just gonna take it and tie it here. Or actually, I think I'm gonna tie this down here to give this a little more fullness. So that's all we're doing is we're just taking, and I have about 10 of these pieces that I've made. We're just taking them and just tying them here. And let's just do one more knot for good measure. And as you can see, I kind of need even a bigger workspace to do this, but it's such a cool wreath that I wanted to make sure that I shared it. So we're just gonna take this and then we're gonna take one of our glue dots we're just gonna glue this down here and scrunch that in. And then I'm gonna take my huge bow that I made a minute ago. And now you'll see why we made this so absolutely big. Is now I'm just gonna tie this onto my hula hoop. I'm just gonna knot it. And now I'm just gonna shape this, shape my tails out here. And again, I'm gonna take one of my blue dots and just bring this over here and bring this one over here and make sure my missus is out there, my mister, I mean. So you have your mister and missus so I hope you guys like it. And it's so, I mean, you see how simple to make and very inexpensive. I think we've used like one roll of mesh, then the other ribbon and our Bodabra rhinestones. So it's super, super simple. Hi, Christy, thanks for joining me. So now I'm gonna put this aside. Oh, I forgot to bring this tail out. I'm gonna put this one aside. So that was our gargantuan bow for today. And I'm gonna need my Godabra back. And now I'm going to make a really cool hat on the same theme. So what I've done is I this hat I bought for $1.99 at the 99 cent store. And thank you, Marlene. And so now I have some of our Bodabra rhinestone mesh. 
and I have 24 inches, but that's just because that measures to fit around the hat. So I'm just going to use my Zots because they really will hold well. Or you can use um, a glue gun if you prefer, um, or any other adhesive that will work with this really cool straw hat and the mesh. And I'm just gonna wrap that around. So we've already like really upstyled. And then I have three bouquets of ribbon roses. I have my silver and my white. Whoops, throw that at the camera. And so now all I'm gonna do is take them and I'm gonna just twist it all together with my white in between my silver. So I'm just gonna twist all the stems and then I'm just going to fold all my stems up and I'm gonna take a couple of dots. Now I would probably use um, a glue gun for this, but so simple. Jackie, thank you. And Cassandra, thank you. And so now I'm just going to stick this on my hat and I have my little ribbon, my little um, roses. Now we're gonna make the rest of the hat. So now I have a piece of, um, let's see, this would be, about a 10 inch wide by 24 inch mesh. And I'm just gonna take some of my Bodabra bow wire. Thank you, Cassandra. And thanks to all of you guys who shared. If you know anybody getting married, please share this with them. I'm just gonna put my Bodabra bow wire into my Bodabra and I'm just going to scrunch. Um, I'm gonna just make a loop. So I'm gonna scrunch the right side of my mesh into my Bodabra, bring it back around, and again, scrunch the right side into the Bodabra, and then come down the center, and just scrunch that into my Bodabra. Then I have this piece of, I believe it's five inch wide by 19 inches. I'm gonna take the right side of the ribbon, and I'm just gonna scrunch that down into my Bodabra, Oh, Cassandra, thank you. We're, you know, we, we also, if you go to bodabrablog.com, then I'll take the right side and scrunch that in. Um, we have a lot of wedding ideas on our blog. Scrunch that in, and then I have this piece, which is two inches wide by 31 inches, and we're just gonna make a double loop. So I'm gonna fold it in half, Take the right side of my ribbon and scrunch that down. And in a minute, Cassandra, I'm gonna make a pubo as well. So we're gonna fold this back over, scrunch this in, and then I'm gonna scrunch this one in. And, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Then I'm gonna bring this one over and do make an X and scrunch the right side down into here. Then I'm gonna scrunch my lower bow in and my upper one. So that gives me two even loops. And then following in the theme of my silver and white um, roses, I'm just gonna lay those in. Take my wand and just scrunch everything down into my Bodabra. Then I'll just take this, pull this through my loops, put tight while it's still in the Bodabra. And now I'm just gonna separate my ends and bring them around to the back. Gonna tie a knot and tie another knot. So this is great, I mean, just for any kind of a summer party hat. Um, and then I'm gonna knot this. I mean, I'm gonna just clip my ribbon and now what I'll do is take the ends of my, of my roses and I'm just gonna twist them all around and bring them all the way around to the back so you don't see them. And just gonna fluff my bow out. And then um, again, I would probably use a permanent glue, glue dot but I'm going to just glue this onto my, I think this would be like an amazing mother of the bride or 
bridesmaid's hat. Whoops. And there you have this wonderful little hat. Thank you, Edna and Cassandra. Thank you. You guys, thanks so much for sharing and for watching me. I just look forward to seeing you all on Mondays when I do my lives. So now I'm gonna put my hat aside and I think I had a Peeba over here. Okay, so. So what I have here is I've got um, like four pieces of um, tulle and the tulle, I believe it's four pieces, I'll count it out. The tulle is nine inches wide by um, one yard, about a yard and a half. So what I'm doing with my tool, oh, I gotta get my bow dabber bow wire. Thank you, Cassandra. And also you guys, join our, um, our bow dabber fan gallery and share your projects with all everybody in our fan gallery because we all get such great ideas from each other. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in half I'm just gonna lay, let the long side hang here and just tuck that in. Then I'm gonna take my next piece and then these can be as long or as short as you want. Again, folding it in half and I'm just gonna lay this in here. I'm gonna take another piece and I'm just gonna fold it in half. So this kind of becomes a, the really delicate tails for like a pubo. And I'm gonna take this last one and fold it in half and just lay this into my bodabra. Then I'm just gonna pull all the other pieces of material that I need for this project and bring these up and my two peonies. And so now, um, for the back of my bow, I'm just going to make some loops. Oh, let me tell you how long this is. This is um, one yard and it's nine inches wide. So two yards and I have about two and a half yards here. So now all I'm gonna do is just bring it back and forth. So this is gonna be a very, I think a very beautiful pew bow. Could also be a chair bow or you could put it um, on, you know, on, along, obviously on the church pews. And then I have a piece of this beautiful, um, it's sort of a maroon turquoise tool. And I believe that this is five inches wide, or no, I'm sorry, six inches wide by one yard, two yards. So all I'm gonna do here is just fold it back and forth and just keep folding it back and forth. And then before I finish, I'm just gonna take, these are, it's four, um, four rows of our, um, of our Bodabra me rhinestone mesh, and there's eight rows. So it's just one piece that is um, 40 inches long cut in half. So I'm just gonna go to the middle, and I'm just gonna lay this down so it goes and lays on my tails. And I'm gonna take one more piece, that's the other half of this one and exactly the same thing. Just lay this down here and I'm gonna keep those in there, keep folding my, my ribbon back and forth. And then I have my two peonies and I just put this one in here and this one going this way. And I'll take my Bodabra bow wire Oh my gosh, Cassandra, you won, congratulations. I'm gonna pull this through and pull it tight while it's still in the bodabra. I'm gonna pull it out, separate the ends, bring it, whoops, bring it around to the back. And I'm just gonna, I cannot believe how fast this half hour went. I'm like, I have like four or five more projects to do, but we'll probably do Bodabra videos of them for you. And then now I'm um, just gonna shape it and just shape this down and bring my 
my mesh on here. And so Cassandra, please PM um, Bodabra and let me know the color you want and your mailing address. And there you have this like really, really pretty pubo. That's sweet and super simple. Thank you, Cassandra. This really is a great way to make. It's like an, so easy and really eco-friendly because the flowers are silks, so you can save the bow and use it for other things, and your guests can take them home. So I love. I mean, I just love making pubos like this, and we do have more projects. So. Um, I believe next week we're going to be doing some Christmas in July, but I'm also going to add the wedding projects that we didn't finish today because I think, so we'll sort of say that next Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. So that would be, what's today, the 15th? So what is next Monday? Somebody please help me. What date is next month, the 22nd? Okay, so next Monday is the 22nd. So we are gonna do a, another pew bow and some, a table decor and a cute little bow for the ring bearer doggy. So I will see you all next week. Thanks so much for sharing. Speak to you soon, bye.